This is how you do Comic-Con exclusives. This is a Shark Among Us ripster from the 30th anniversary Street Sharks line. Mattel sent this out to me and just look at the presentation of this exclusive action figure. <laughs> This is the best style of packaging that I could possibly imagine for something like this. It tells a story of the episode of Street Sharks that this character, or I guess this variation of Ripster, is from. Now the episode A Shark Among Us is like it's about as close as you can get to a very special episode of a Saturday morning cartoon as you could possibly get. The basic premise is this. There is a bunch of kids taking these unknown pills that give them super strength. Ripster and the Street Sharks go undercover to figure out the whole operation and take it down. But the sleeve of this packaging begins to tell the story. Here he is going into the pool hall, which, you know, honestly, we have a shark who is good at pool. A pool shark. The jokes just write themselves. But not only that, you have, like, on the back, the other street sharks there. They're listening in on the conversation Ripster's having with the bad guys, and there's a whole plot that goes along with it, that Ripster turns evil, and he's working for these bad guys just to get undercover. So that's the first part of this. And then we have the second part, when you undo the sleeve. So here you have some of those kids that I was talking about. They're robbing an ATM machine to steal money so they can get these super blues. And on the back we have a picture of Ripster with his pool cue that's fighting an enemy. That's towards the end of the episode. And then on this side here, you have Jab rushing in to the pool hall after Ripster says his secret code word so that it starts a fight to make the street sharks look like there is a rift between them. And we haven't even opened the figure yet, but we've got the whole story. Like the whole episode is on the packaging, which is super incredible to have happen with this kind of stuff. And then if we take a look closer at the action figure itself, you can see more of the story there. We have the shark playing pool. They, re they really lead into the pool shark thing. But I think from here, we have to open it up. We have to see what Ripster's all about, because as much as I love the packaging, as much as I love the storytelling behind it, the action figure is what I'm after. As we undo this box, just know that this is one of the Mattel creations. If you are at San Diego Comic-Con in 2024, you can pick this up at the show, from my understanding, but there also might be some limited quantities available for just regular purchase. I know a lot of companies are doing that for people who can't make it out to San Diego Comic-Con. And it's a really nice thing because it gives everybody a chance to partake in some exclusive figures. Right there he is out of the box and as I drop that to the ground to make a big thud we get a better look at Ripster here and you can just see some of the detail in the packaging. The thing I'm immediately noticing is that the jacket is soft goods so uh, I mean it's already a winner in my book. If you're like me and you need to have these figures out of the box here's a tip to opening it you have to get to the back open up these tabs so that it's easier to get at the bubble that he's situated on. That way I'm not accidentally cutting into the soft goods leather jacket. So as I free some of the tape here, you gotta let me know, what do you think of these 30th anniversary Street Sharks? And uh, specifically this one in particular, this is like a deep cut from the show. It might have less of an impact for somebody who wasn't there to witness these types of shows. So I don't know, let me know in the comment section. Is this something that you're going to be picking up? Here he is out of the packaging. I wish I could tell you just took some gentle coaxing, but it was kind of surgery work to not destroy the box because I'm still deciding whether or not I want to have that cardboard stand up as the display unit for this A Shark Among Us ripster. Immediately off the bat, the coat is phenomenal. I have not seen a soft goods item on an action figure like this in such good quality. It fits... <laughs> I can imagine this was a very difficult thing to manufacture because you're dealing with like an over like muscular shark and to have it come out so well come out so detailed phenomenal uh, he still has the same action features as the 30th anniversary ripster as well you pull back on the fin his mouth chomps if I move him to the side he does slash or spin back rather to have that action feature which works really well for the pool cue now the shark the coat and the glasses isn't the only thing in the box you also have a blast effect right here that you can put at the end of the pool cue this was part of the episode as well it had some sort of special power the pool cue had an explosive end so that the bad guys just wouldn't have a chance so the inevitable comparison will remain how different is this ripster from the other ripster if you put them side by side, you can start to see the many differences. Now, one, obviously, is the accessory kit. He comes with a pool cue, he comes with a coat, he also comes with some glasses. 
but if you look at their bellies, this Ripster here has more of an ivory look, and this one has more of a steel, like very light sky blue look. And then not only that, but the color of Ripster is a little bit different. This is a more electric blue. This is a little more muted. We have some of the tape to take off the glasses. I'm guessing they put this on there so that it wouldn't scratch in the packaging within shipping, which is a great thing. It's always nice to have a little extra care taken care with these things so that I'm not too worried about the condition it is when it arrives. The other thing too is that there is a rubber band around the glasses that's keeping it in place. So it's not really the best representation of the glasses. So let's try to fit those on a little better. It does look like the glasses aren't completely opaque. It's a very dark, uh, it's a very dark plastic resin type material in there, but it does look really good. And I'm trying to see how this is going to best fit on him. There are some retention little clips near the ears and how will this best work i think it just kind of fits over his gills so that it looks like that <laughs> that's so cool like, this is just an amazing action figure like this is a definitive ripster if you want to get some of the street sharks 30th anniversary stuff like track this down definitely get it because it, it it's just so much fun. It just captures everything about the series. You have this shark with just way too much attitude. He's not even going undercover. He's just wearing a jacket because he thinks it looks cool and it'll help him get in with a gang. Like that just kind of also sells the story of like such a 90s property, right? It was telling these very of its time stories about what to look out for and doing the right thing. Okay, you know, those aren't bad messages, but it's all wrapped up in like a subtle joke, right? He is a shark in a pool hall. He is a pool shark. If you have the choice between getting the a shark Among Us Ripster or just the normal Ripster. I mean, you really can't go wrong with either of them. These are just phenomenal action figures, but this one, this one is absolutely a cut above. The soft goods, the glasses, the pool cue, the blast effect, the whole storytelling on the box. If you're an inbox collector, I can imagine that being an extremely, extremely good selling point. And if you are curious, yes, the jacket can remove. There is this instruction booklet this instruction sheet rather that came with the uh, overall package right it fell out when i opened the sleeve and all you need to do is just remove the arms and the jacket should just kind of sleeve out don't try to take the jacket off with the arms on because the fists are just so big it's gonna cause it to like break or rip or you, you don't want anything i mean he's ripster but like you don't want the jacket to rip it's way too cool i mean i think you know what i'm gonna say about this but let's just get a closer look at him and just wrap up all of my thoughts on a shark among us ripster super excited when I got the 30th anniversary Street Shark set. Uh, they're just way cool. And now for that set to include a very deep cut from the actual cartoon Street Sharks, it, it just, it, it solidifies this as probably one of the premier reissues, like remakes of a toy property that I can remember. There's been a lot of different brands that have tried doing this and they've done it successfully. I think we've seen it, you know, done really well in a lot of places. Necessarily hasn't taken shape until the Street Sharks is taking the essence of the toy and like what people remember about it and reconfiguring it in a way that feels familiar but takes advantage of all the modern upgrades and technology that we've been able to put in toys nowadays. San Diego Comic Con exclusives are often fun and those deep cuts like I was talking about but honestly who wouldn't want to have a shark wearing sunglasses in a leather coat holding a pool cue in their collection I <laughs> show me a collector that doesn't want that and this wasn't just like a ripster that they put some accessories on and called it a day they reformulated some of the colors on ripster and made it stand out made it separate from the one that's just in the main line the action features are the same the sculpting is the same, like everything about it that was great is the same, but you can tell that this is a special edition one. So yes, if you are a collector, if you are a toy collector, action figure collector, you need to track down one of these. It's just so much fun. And that's what I love about toys is finding those really fun things. Thank you to Mattel for sending out this additional care package because I definitely wasn't expecting it and it was extremely cool to check out and see in hand. And so that's it. That's everything I know about Ripster, A Shark Among Us, San Diego Comic Con 2024 exclusive action figure from Mattel. If you've gotten to this point in the video and have been able to follow along about a leather coat wearing street shark, you really need to hit that subscribe button and get more videos just like this one. I talk about all kinds of toys, all kinds of collectibles. You don't want to miss what I've got coming up. Thank you so much for watching.
We'll see you next time. Stage awesome, everybody.